Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and somebody asked me about flies. They said some bigger YouTuber or whatever is talking about flies. I figured I'd talk about it. Okay, so basically this person asked, are flies okay? Are dumbbell flies okay? Because this person that they talked about said that flies are absolutely the worst thing ever and you should never do them. And they're just the worst thing because uh, whatever. I mean, whatever rules or reasons that this person gave. So um, the bottom line is, is that I would say flies are bad for you if you are not in tune with your body and you try to overstretch the crap out of yourself, or if you try to use too much weight, right? So this is the basis of what I'm teaching on this channel is that you have to pay attention. So certain exercises, especially isolations, are not great for doing four or five rep sets because if the forces are somehow not acting out the way they should in a workout, say you have a tight muscle, say something's not necessarily firing properly, then you could risk a muscle tear or an injury. So with dumbbell flies, I usually stick to about 15 to 30 or 40 reps. I do not do five rep sets with flies. I don't do like eight reps or try to use uh, a strength building mindset because it's not a compound movement. And like I said, if the forces are not necessarily working properly, then it's easier to tweak something, especially during a pec fly. It's also important to bear in mind that some people are better suited to some exercises more than others. And it is common for some YouTubers or people out there to say that one exercise is just absolutely horrible just because it doesn't work for them. But that's not necessarily true for everyone. Right? Like I could say nobody should squat butt to the floor or nobody should do this or that just because it's not right for me. But that wouldn't be true because some people are built perfectly for that type of movement and it is the right way for them to train. I would say this, it always depends. It's on a case per case basis. But if you are going to do isolation exercises, I would recommend that you stick to higher rep ranges and make sure that you are properly warmed up before you start working into those work sets. Because like I said, they do have a higher risk of injury or uh, it is easier to pull something sometimes if something is not necessarily balanced right or say you have an imbalance of some sort or you know some sort of tweak that you're not aware of. You want to make sure that you are warmed up well so that way you ease into the workout. But definitely don't be doing three or four rep sets with isolation exercises because that's when serious stuff can happen. Snap hola. So throughout all my competitive years, I used dumbbell flies with no problem. And I, I did machine flies, I did dumbbell flies, I did incline flies, I did all these different types of flies. And there was absolutely no problem with my body from it. I never had any problems. But another thing to bear in mind though, is if you do have a dislocating shoulder, if you do have a labral tear, or if you do have some sort of pre-existing injury of instability in the shoulder joint, then flies will be more dangerous for you to perform. So you're gonna have to bear that in mind, which is why you see me go even higher reps now when it comes down to fly movements and things because I am hyper aware of the instability of the shoulder joint and I make adjustments in my training because of that. Now again, the person that talked about flies being bad for everyone is probably right for a lot of people, okay? He, I, I think this person is right because there is this hyper obsession in the fitness community of overstretching and overstraining and PRing all the time. And if you apply this mentality to the fly, you definitely will get an injury or something will happen, which is not necessarily for your benefit. So bear that in mind. That's my opinion on flies. I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and uh, thanks a lot to the patron supporters and take care for now. Man, is it snowy up here? I'm up on the logging road. This is pretty cool. I'll show you a clip. <laughs>